Hello, and welcome to Tech Boost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install memory into the dual processor HP Z620. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will not need any tools. We recommend going through this process with the workstation on its side to have better access to the system's interior. Since there are many possible memory options, we suggest you review the manufacturer's instructions to find the proper memory placement. We have provided a link in the description below. Take special note to review memory terms and their relevance including memory rank, memory chip count, and memory dim size. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next. Press and hold the power button until the blue light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. We highly recommend you check the manufacturer's user manual and comply with their recommended safety instructions. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side. If the latch is locked, please ensure you use the included keys to unlock the panel like so. Now. Remove the panel to reveal the interior. Please set the panel away for now. You will now need to remove the rise board. Remove it by depressing these tabs and pulling back on the two levers. Once in position, remove the riser board like so. Now you will need to remove the internal cover by depressing these two tabs indicated here and pulling out the cover. You can now see the memory banks on the motherboard. There are a total of 8 memory slots on the motherboard and 4 slots on the CPU riser board. Each DIMM slot and memory module is keyed. The specific pattern used to install memory on the motherboard and CPU riser board may vary. Consult a user's manual to determine the proper pattern to use for your specific situation. To install the memory onto its specific slot, align the memory stick notch to the memory slot notch and press down. Ensure each of the retainer clips on either side of the memory slot snap into the retaining slot on the memory stick and that they fit snugly. Loose memory may cause problems. Please note that memory slots are assigned to each processor. Using the instructions in the user's manual, install any remaining memory sticks to the motherboard and the CPU riser slots. Once you have finished installing all memory, reattach the internal cover by aligning the tabs as so and pushing down to snap it in. If needed, replace the riser by sliding it into the grooves and pushing down on the board until it clicks into place. Push the two tabs downward and ensure those also snap into place. Lastly, reattach the panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and video card installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.